My career since leaving Schulich has been basically my dream life. I've been recording a lot. I've won a couple Junos. I've recorded more albums, released more music, worked with a bunch of people that I've always dreamed of working with. Every penny I make is from music, which I'm incredibly grateful for, and that allows me the life of being able to travel and sing to people all across the world. This is a great program. It's very well designed. I would really come here for the wonderful teachers. Renee Lee herself is a legend in the jazz history and a wonderful teacher. You can try to walk on anyone you choose, but you haven't got nothing to lose but me. And Camille Thurman has really great pedagogy in learning about the jazz and improvisations. When it comes to music education, we give them the tools, but creating a space where they get to learn how to get comfortable with using the tools, sometimes that space is neglected. And that's where I happily love to come in and, and, and teach and connect with students. Yeah, that sounds about right. yeah. Getting them to be okay. familiar with the performance space and knowing how to access those tools, but in a real moment, forget about themselves so that they're relying on instinct and learning how to connect and communicate with their selves as a developing artist, but also with the other musicians that are on the stage with them. Because when they graduate from McGill, that's what they're being hired to do. J'ai appris de mes professeurs de chant, René Lee, Bordana, Novak, Camille Thurman, comment me faire confiance, comment être dans le moment, puis chanter à ma manière, avec ma voix, d'une façon saine pour mon instrument, mais aussi consciente, puis comment me permettre d'être vulnérable devant mon public parce que c'est ça qui va devenir vraiment touchant pour euh, ceux qui m'écoutent chanter. The focus of the vocal jazz program is to include everybody because when you look at some of the jazz vocalists that we admire and we love, it was a combination of them as a vocalist but also the rhythm section working together hand in hand and creating those iconic classics that we love. In my last year, I was in the Chamber Jazz One Ensemble. Being the vocalist in this ensemble, which plays mostly instrumental music, I actually felt very comfortable and at ease and inspired to do what I can to add to the music. And the whole band, as well as the directors, were very open to the creative ideas that I had. So keep your hands wide open if you leave. Every week we're working through material where we get to teach them hands-on how the communication works with the band. It's been incredible working with them because we've been able to see how the students are now creating a community, so much so that even outside of class, they're finding ways to practice together or work on arrangements and try different things. Even without us having to prompt them or, or explain it to them, they're trying it themselves so that when they come back to class, there's a growth that you can see that's happening outside of the classroom. One of the cool things about McGill and Schulich is that people are coming from all over Canada and all over the world. So I have lifelong friendships, lifelong musical partnerships from people that I met here at Schulich and I'm very, very grateful for them. À Schulich, dans le programme de jazz, j'ai vraiment trouvé une communauté. Je pense que c'est ça le plus important. Je me suis fait des amis qui me ressemblaient par leur désir d'apprendre à connaître le monde, puis la musique, puis de vouloir créer puis partager leur, leur amour pour, euh, pour la vie puis l'art. I hope that my students, when they leave this vocal jazz program, that they have the independence to be able to go out there artistically, stand on their own two feet, and be who they are. <laughs>